okay guys, I finished the uh, Plasti dip on the bike, uh, the tank's red, uh, black, sorry. I decided to take that piece that I was telling you about, this piece right here, I decided, which goes on the tail end and it was messed up and not for the right bike. I decided to take that off and uh, just go away with that. So I took the other one and instead of uh, painting it red, I actually peeled off the Plasti dip, the red Plasti dip, and I did it black just because it's easier to go over the blue with black. Otherwise the red will be a different shade than the white plastic that was painted. So I went over that with black, just to give it kind of like a black stripe all the way down. Um, my personal opinion on Plasti Dip, I haven't had enough experience with it to really say, as far as a bike, I'll never Plasti Dip that shit again. If I do, I'll do it, I'll do like everything on the bike, I'll leave it on the bike and I'll just tape it like that. Because I think with Plasti Dip is just like cool if you lay right, um, it works good. And I was watching some videos and when you laid the clear, somebody said if you lay it right, it should be smooth. So when I laid that last little small piece in the back, it was actually really smooth. It felt like paint, it was good. But the rest of it kind of wasn't. It's hard to get that clear on it, I guess. So what I'm getting at is it chips easy. So putting this bike together was a bitch, especially by myself. So if I had somebody else, maybe it'd be easier, but like getting on the side fairings and putting the turning signals together and re-splicing the wires and stuff like that, it's just difficult. So constantly sliding the panels together chips it. So there's definitely already chips in it, which is unfortunate. I mean, I could go over it with some more plastic dip, but I just don't really think I care. Uh, the biggest thing is that the plastics aren't broken uh, and they're not scratched. Uh, I can always take them off and get them repainted or just buy a whole another set. Uh, this one piece I couldn't get in, it was just too hard to get in. I Again, if I had more than one person, I probably would be able to, but it was so hard, but there was pieces missing inside, the intake hose, the clamp was missing, so I had to buy that. I don't know if I said that before, but I ended up spending $33 on just the intake clamp and some screws that were missing. And I actually have to go back to the store to get some bolts to put two more screws in here. But other than that, it came out decent. I got my sliders coming in, my black sliders, so I put the white one and the black one back on. But again, it came out decent, so it's almost time for, riding season's pretty much done in Wisconsin. It's actually a really nice day today, so I'll probably take a ride, but Everything else is done. Um, I got the heat shield on there and stuff, so I'll let you guys see the bike and we'll go from there. Again, my opinion on Plasti Dip, I don't have enough experience with it. I probably use the gun or something else I've seen that they use, but on a bike, I wouldn't do it, especially if you're piecing it together. It's just too much chipping. So that's how the bike came out. Visor's black. The tank's black, the seat's black, and you got this last black strip in the back I decided to use. So all in all, it's just one big black stripe. So it's gonna be hard for you guys to see the chips from here, obviously, but there's definitely small chips in it on edges and stuff. If you come all the way back here as well, I, uh, I got the heat shield and stuff on there. And you can see a little bit of white, but I don't really care that much. So like you could see down here, there's some white. But if you look in here, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got the heat shield on it. That's what that end is and this fiber. So I got all that done. Let's see if we can get a better look in here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I can't, it's too bright out. But the heat shield and stuff's in there, so that should be good. Oh no, I mean, it's not bad from a distance. You're not gonna notice, it's definitely different. It's hard for me to picture the difference in the bike just because I've been painting it so long and in between work I've been putting it together so I haven't been able to do it like all at once. So right now it just looks like I've been looking at red forever. But that's how it is. That's the end of this Plasti Dip project. Um, again, if you guys know how to lay it really well, that's good. Plasti Dip's not bad. I mean, it does peel right off, that's really nice. But if you're putting back together a bike that has this many pieces that's fully fared, that's not like a bobber or something like that, that doesn't just have small pieces in places, it's actually a pain in the ass. Too many clicking parts, it's just a bitch. But thanks for watching. That's all I got, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.